Hey, beautiful souls. I'm Brooke. I am an intuitive Reiki master. I'm also a channel for the divine. Welcome back. Gemini's next. I love it. All right, so I've got a hair in my eyeball that I've been trying to get out. So, forgive me. <laughs> I feel it poking, but I can't seem to locate it. I don't know how it's in there. Oh, my word. So, Gemini, let's see what's been going on since with the Libra full moon. Let's see what may be releasing, what may be coming in since the Libra full moon. One more, please. Thank you. And here you're showing up. The answers you need are coming. I love it. Okay, releasing the need of having the answers. Releasing the need of knowing everything. Show the world the real you. Release the need of having to hide behind a mask. One, two, three, things are moving forward. A new romantic cycle begins. Okay, so I get Mercury, Saturn, Uranus, and um, Venus. More Venus showing up. Full moon in Taurus. Your dreams need a practical plan. And then right under that, I get... It's time to release negativity, and then right under that, a new start is coming. Um, you know, really having to be not attached to to anything, to needing the answers. You know, you send out your intentions. You wait on a vibrational match to come back in return, release the mask, show the world who you are, live truly authentically yourself. Okay, and be open to the love coming in. And when it comes to your dreams in a practical plan, you know, release control of how you think it should go, but you still need a plan moving in the direction that you feel like you're meant to move in. Okay. One more, please. Thank you. Okay, so this, the Ten of Wands have been showing up a lot in all the readings. Queen of Cups has been showing up quite a bit. Definitely been a lot of healing, a lot of cycles completed, a lot of healing when it comes to your wishes and being able to move forward with them. Okay, but there's something that you're holding on to tightly. Ooh. Let's see. Let me clarify that because I don't like the way that ends. And then we'll walk through all of it, okay? Clarify the death card, please. Give me one more. So, what's holding all this up? Your dreams need a pl practical plan. Really, releasing the burden connected to love. Like, you may be feeling like, you know, in the past, love was hard. In the past, that, it, you know, it was just too much weight to carry, okay? If you were the only one putting any effort in. And then just really focusing on yourself. Focusing on your own pentacles. Taking the time to nurture and grow your own self okay really focused on healing really bringing in the things that you desire you want okay 
and walking towards something that's going to be a little bit more balanced. Okay, because, I mean, Gemini and Pisces both are dual signs, being able to see the light and the dark. To me, it's almost like, you know, Gemini, you've got the light and the dark twin, okay, Pisces, the light and the dark angels, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, so, like, there's that duality between balancing, okay, things that you should hold on to, things that you should walk away from, really being able to see, okay, is this really balanced? And I get the Six of Pentacles. Is this really balanced? Because you really should be five, five, five changes here. You really should be walking away from anything that's negative that you're trying to hold on to. Walk away from the negative. Leave it alone. Stop holding on to feeling like you really need to defend yourself about the direction that you're wanting to go in. Because you're trying to go towards love. Love's trying to come in, actually. It's trying to come in, right? This is what you've been manifesting. You've been manifesting something that is um, very childlike, very youthful, okay? But it almost feels a little too analytical. It almost feels like you need to balance um, and then the next card, I get death, <laughs> okay? But um, it could be the sex. It could be uh, balancing the passion, okay? Balancing the transformation, okay? Between being happy and healing from the things that's hurt you deeply, okay? Because that kind of is the transformation that's taken place. But you've got to release whatever this negative... And it has to do with, with the mass that you're showing. Okay, we've got to be fully, authentically ourselves. Okay, don't hold on to a false idea of who you think you are. I'm really balancing between healing and feeling like you need to defend yourself. Um, it kind of goes back to that fight or flight reaction. You know, being able to come from a more neutral standpoint. Not holding on to having to be combative. And really stepping more into your love. Really walking more towards the love aspect of it. <clears throat> Let's see if there's anything coming up from past lives. Let's see if there's anything coming up from past lives. One more, please. Thank you. Okay, definitely connected to the Indians. Okay. There is a lot of karma that's being balanced, okay? There's definitely a past life spouse that's going to be showing up. You might need to release whatever this negative is, something that you're holding on to in fear, possibly showing the world you, not stepping into who you're meant to be, because there's definitely new things being born. You could also be bringing a child into the world with this next partner, okay? And that's where the lessons and the blessings are coming into play. You could actually end up being a father, 911. Okay, this is going to be a very steamy love. Like, it's definitely going to be affecting your love life. Okay. All right, guys. This reading resonated with you and you'd like for me to dive in deeper, my website's below. Also, if you like the reading, if you could drop me a like. That'd be great. <laughs> I hope you all have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next week. See you soon. Bye.